What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I have just arrived by train in Edinburgh, Scotland where we just got here from the beautiful city of St. Andrews where we did a little bit of exploring and enjoyed an off day. It was really really lovely there. I believe it is like the birthplace of golf maybe. I don't know either way it's like a really 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 old golf town but uh anyways we are on our way to a place called At Pizza after we go to our hotel to drop these off by the way these are heavy <laughs> but uh, we're heading to a place called At Pizza to take on a five pizza challenge now there are a couple of locations here in uh, Edinburgh that you can do this challenge at we're going to one on Charlotte Lane uh and I also know that there is one in England that has been uh taken on by uh I believe Leah Shutkeeper and Kyle V Food and then a guy named Max V Food as well I will give you guys all of the dirty details at At Pizza when the food challenge arrives has arrived in front of me here at At Pizza. I'm uh, pretty excited for this. I'm going to have 30 minutes to finish five of their specialty 14 inch pizzas here. And they include some really delicious, but one frightening looking one. I have one called the Boombastic, which is like covered in a bunch of sweet toppings. Looks delicious, it's like a barbecue sauce base. I'll go into more details on that one in the voiceover. I have the Pepperoni Fest, which speaks for itself. It's pepperoni, pepperoni, and more pepperoni. I do have their White Dog, which is a white base sauce. I believe it's like a uh, like a garlicky base sauce and then that has like some onions and fresh veggies on there as well I also have their heartbreaker, which is the scary one I'll probably save that one for last because you guys know how I feel about spicy stuff And there's like sriracha on there and a bunch of jalapenos, which is always frightening And then I do have their eat meat and repeat pizza, which is just as the name implies full of the meats But anyways, I'm going to have 30 minutes to finish everything you see in front of me if I'm successful I do get the meal for free and a spot up on the wall of fame. Now I'm at their original location of App Pizza and I will be the first person at this location hopefully to have my name and photo up on the wall of fame but if not there is also a little side quest I could do to take a Magic Mitch's terms. I could try and beat the record here which is 925 in which case I would get a free dessert pizza and then a card here for 25% off for life but I'm just gonna enjoy myself enjoy this pizza. I've been craving pizza for a long time but anyways that was a long intro. Without further delay, let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. That's the ticket. I gotta decide which one I want to start with. I think I'm ready to go for this white one first. Seems that uh, my gut is telling me to go with the white dog first. So without further delay, 30 minutes on the clock. One, two, three. Let's eat some pizza. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you know when I break out the dance moves, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a great day in the office. But honestly, when is it not a great day in the office? This was a lot of fun to dig into, and I wanted to go slow on this one because I truly was craving pizza like mad, and I knew that there was absolutely no way I was going to beat Kyle V. Food's record of 9 minutes and 25 seconds. That man is an absolute beast, and I wanted to just tuck in and really give these pizzas a nice, lovely review. I'm gonna try some of this uh, garlic mayo as well. Where you would typically find ranch in an American meal, here in Scotland you find garlic mayo, which I'm not entirely mad about. Last bite of the white dog. I feel like I need to get pepperoni fest out of the way because that is a lot of the meat. So here we go. This looks delicious though. Honestly, I got a little nervous watching them pile the pepperoni on this thing, but look, it was good. The hot honey on here is so good. The sweetness of the hot honey paired perfectly with the zing of the pepperoni. You're gonna like this one. That was me gesturing over at Randy, who was about to take this challenge on after me. He is actually a pretty big fan of well, we'll call it mildly spicy things, not too spicy, but uh, yeah, he was about to do this after me and I was giving him a few tips as he was considering going for the overall record on this one, so you'll have to see what he ends up doing in his video. It is chewy. 
Final bits of the pepperoni fest. Absolutely delicious. There was quite a bit of chew to it, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for flavor, only for speed. Ooh. All right, those were amazing. Now on to the eat, meat, repeat, which as implied is loaded with de meat, but I still don't know if it can keep up with pepperoni fest. That was a lot. This one was, I believe, ham, pepperoni, and a couple varieties of their sausage. I like it. I did like it, and mostly because even though there was variety, there was less meat than the pepperoni fest. The people of Edinburgh are hyped. It took me a while to register that they were saying, go on, cat, like really loudly, and nobody ever calls me that, except for mom. I already have the meat sweats, but that was a delicious eat, meat, and repeat. Final bits of that. Mmm. Mmm. which sounds delicious. This is the kind of pizza I would come in and order. Barbecue sauce, pineapple, love it. Here we go. There was also the dreaded red onion on there, but because they were roasted, it wasn't that bad. And then they do love themselves some sweet corn over here in the UK. I like it that y'all are calling me cat. Usually only my mom calls me that. I feel like I'm with family. Deja vu, I feel like you guys have heard that before. But anyways, yeah, finishing up my favorite of the pizzas, the Boom Bastic. So just to give you an idea, only English people have won this challenge, so I am kind of chilling, taking my time. I want this one to be brought home for the Scottish. So if someone's Scottish out there, come here, try this challenge. You're gonna love it. And it ain't that bad. It's only five wee pizzas. Of all of the challenges I've done on this trip so far, I think this one is the most doable of all of them for somebody to just come in and absolutely dominate. So definitely do want to see some Scotsmen come in and tackle this one. Final bit of Boombastic. Hmm. What? Aldi. All right, I am stalling a little bit because this is the spicy one, the heartbreaker, which includes all of my favorite things like deathly hot jalapenos and sriracha. Mm -hmm. I actually like it. I'm into it. Yeah. Now this one was hot, but it was also really sweet and flavorful. I didn't mind. I've got some heat to it though. I'm going to start sweating. Who am I kidding? I already had the meat sweats, but definitely these spicy sweats started kicking in and uh, they were nice and took it easy on the sriracha for me. <laughs> oh, that's a hot bite. Hot bite, whoo! Okay, we're good. Yeah, I was definitely starting to feel it. You can see my lips and nose turning their signature Rudolph red here, but luckily we're about to get a wee bit of a surprise. Oh boy. We're bringing in a bonus round. Basically, they said if I can finish this in under 30 minutes, we're having some fun and bringing a big crowd of amazing people in. They will give me the Trunchbull dessert pizza for free. So let's finish up and enjoy us some dessert. I'm looking forward to that. My mouth is on fire. Now, I wish I would have done this a little bit differently and included the dessert pizza within the 30 minute time limit just for funsies, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll of course catch you in the next video. Final bite of this delicious pizza challenge. We're gonna stop the timer, of course, and then enjoy us a Trunchable dessert pizza. Cheers to you all for being here. Thank you guys. <laughs>
is the one that Bruce would want. It includes sweet ricotta, raspberry coulis, a chocolate brownie, crushed hazelnuts, icing sugar, and chocolate flake, and comes in at a meager 1,142 calories. So if the 5,000 calorie meal I just ate wasn't enough, this trunchable one will really pack a punch. So let's dig into this guy. How are you feeling? Brucey. Brucey. Oh, I'm feeling great. Ready for dessert. Especially after all that spicy. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to bore you guys eating this entire thing on camera, but I tell you what, you need to order this. I don't know that I've ever had a dessert pizza like this. I've had a pizzuki, but never a dessert pizza like this. That is divine. All right, guys, this is amazing, but we are going to clear the way. Randy is going to be doing this challenge after me. Oh, that's a very gummy brownie. I need some milk. To watch Randy's attempt at this video, you guys are going to have to wait around a couple more months. His video will be posting soon, but a big thank you to y'all for watching. Click that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. A big thank you to everyone here at App Pizza. That was amazing. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. Alright, that is good.